Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about erectile dysfunction. Yes, we're talking about men today. What is erectile dysfunction? Erectile dysfunction is a known cause of male anxiety and male depression. I will be doing a series on erectile dysfunction. Welcome to your health today with Dr. Yide, where we talk about your health and wellness. I am Dr. Olaide subscribe to this channel i think you're missing out why don't you hit that subscription button right now and that notification bell so you get notifications every time i post new videos now straight to the chase let's talk erectile dysfunction part one we will be following this outline Erectile dysfunction, formerly termed impotence, is defined as the inability to attain and or maintain penile erection sufficient for satisfactory sexual performance, or the consistent or recurrent inability to attain and or maintain penile erection sufficient for sexual satisfaction. Wow, that sounds like a mouthful. Believe me, a lot of people go through these problems. How does the normal penile erection work? How does your penis work? The ability of the penis to erect is hinged on the possession of erectile muscles. Now we can see some erectile muscles here, two by the side, here and there. They are known as the corpus cavernosa. Now, it should be noted that the most sensitive part of the penis is the gland penis, and this is the gland penis here. The diagram here summarizes the whole concept of erection. You have a flaccid penis here and an erect penis here. Now, the difference between these two is the blood flow, which we can see here. This will be explained in a few minutes. Now, penile erection is a neurovascular process, meaning it's a process controlled largely by the nervous system and the vascular or circulatory system. Now before we go in depth into this explanation, we need to understand two concepts of blood supply. Arteries supply a particular tissue while veins drain. Put this at the back of your mind. It's going to come in handy in understanding how the erection works. Now when we talk about sexual arousal, for a man it could be tactile, meaning touch, could be olfactory, smell or visual what you see so a man can get aroused by touch smell or sight this leads to rapid inflow from the ellison arteries these arteries are found in the penis when this blood flows due to the stimuli already in progress there is a relaxation of the smooth muscles of the corpus cavernosa these corpus cavernosa, like I said earlier, are the erectile muscles. These erectile muscles must relax in order to accommodate blood flow. Blood flowing from the Ellison arteries mentioned earlier. This inflow of blood fills the cavernous spaces leading to tumescence. Now what is tumescence? Tumescence is the quality or state of being tumescent, especially readiness for sexual activity marked especially by vascular congestion of the sex organ. Now, the sex organ in question here is the penis. Invariably, Tumni Sense talks about the capacity to be turgid. The resulting distension converts Tumni Sense of the penis to an erection by pressure on the subtunical veins which drain the erectile tissue. Remember I said earlier that arteries supply blood while veins drain blood. So once this Tumescence occurs and an erection ensues, the pressure that is built up compresses on the subtunical veins. These veins are occluded in order to stop the draining of the erectile tissues, leading to the veno occlusive mechanism. The veno occlusive meaning occlusion of the vein in order to prevent drainage of the erectile muscles. The essence of blood flowing into the erectile muscles is to keep it turgid. 
Continuous cutaneous stimulation of the glands and frenulum contributes significantly to maintaining erection and initiating orgasm and ejaculation. The moment ejaculation occurs, all these processes become reversed. Now, what are the causes or the etiology of erectile dysfunction? There are a myriad of causes, namely the vascular causes. Now, vascular talks about the blood vessels. Could be from atherosclerosis, myocardial infarction, which is a problem with the heart, could be arterial hypertension, could be vascular injury from prostate cancer treatment, could be from blood vessels and nerve trauma, systemic diseases like diabetes mellitus, scleroderma, renal as kidney failure, liver cirrhosis, cancer treatment, and hypertension. It could be from neurological causes, examples epilepsy stroke, multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, it could also be from respiratory diseases, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or obstructive sleep apnea. It could be from endocrine conditions like hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism and hypogonadism. It could be from penile conditions, either epispedias or priapism. It could be from psychiatric conditions, from depression, from anxiety, widower syndrome, post-traumatic stress disorder, the list is endless. Could be from nutritional states, malnutrition from zinc deficiency. Wow. Could be from hematological diseases, sickle cell anemia or leukemia. It could be from surgical procedures gone wrong, brain and spinal cord procedures, lymph node resection, abdominal perineal resection, abdominal perineal resection, radical prostatectomy, radical cystectomy, and the list is also endless. It could be as a side effect of medications. Some medications like antihypertensives, antidepressants, antipsychotics, and some cholesterol lowering agents, just like statins. Now a brief recap on all that has been said. For you to have a normal erection, there are certain things that will be in place. You must have a normal psychogenic response to stimuli. And don't forget I mentioned that the stimuli we could have could be tactile, touch, could be olfactory, smell, or could be visual. So you should have a normal psychogenic response to this. With that in place, your corpus cavernosi, the erectile muscles, must be able to relax in order to accumulate the blood flow that is coming in. The arteries supplying the penis must be patent meaning you should have no problem with the blood vessels there should be no vascular problem you should also have a normal venous system for draining blood all these being said we now understand fully how the penis works now we've spoken about the causes of erectile dysfunction make it a date same time same place next week as i discuss about the treatment of erectile dysfunction it promises to be worth your while if you just love this video i would have you like push the comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel so we'll meet again same place same time next week don't forget health is wealth